If we had a line, so it extends infinitely in either direction, and I picked an endpoint somewhere, and I erased everything that extended beyond that endpoint, what I've just created is a ray. So a ray has one endpoint, and it extends infinitely from that endpoint. But how do you label a ray? Well, you start off by saying, what is your endpoint? My endpoint of this ray is A because that's where it starts and it extends through point B. So I'm going to label this ray AB as a line, but I only have one arrow, so the arrow is going to be over the B because my endpoint is A, and notice I do not have an arrow over the A, which tells the geometry student or the geometry teacher that this ray starts at A and passes through B. Now you can also have opposite rays, and opposite rays share a common endpoint. So if you look at this line right here, containing x, y, and z, where x, y, and z are all collinear, we have opposite rays if I pick point y. So I could say that the ray y, z, so again I'm saying from point y through point z, so I'm going to go y, z, and notice how I label this, where the arrow is over the z because it starts at y, and the opposite one would be the ray starting at y, passing through x. So I could label this as ray yx. So opposite rays share a common endpoint, and rays in general have one endpoint and extend infinitely from that endpoint.